mound, but really funny how he described his starting pitcher. 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed, went chasing up and away out of the strike zone. Smith, but not for Malazzo. And he takes the breaking ball for a called strike three. You know, just a nasty curveball from Acker. Long ball this year. Hits this one deep into the gap at right center field. Backing up is the right fielder, Harlan, to make it right against the wall. How about that? He almost got it. Yeah, ball not carrying it. Had to come back for another year in Baton Rouge. 3 2 pitch. Hit off the handle into short right field, but coming on to make the catch is Brady Harlan for out number one. And now the 2 2 pitch. Got the corner that time. Right back to it. That one was on the outside edge. He says, All right, you want me to move it an inch in? I'll move it an inch in. <laughs> you can see Acker this one. Paint that outside. Boom. Yep. That time he didn't move the glove. That's his second strikeout. Uh, he tried to get him to go, and he did. The Jacobo couldn't hold off the high fastball, so back to back strikeouts to end the bottom of the second. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Strikeout number five in the ball game. Ball game. 3 1 pitch runner on the move. Swung on and missed. Throw down to second base is in time for the out. Making the swipe tag, Zaragoza on the throw down from Mitchell. Wow, what a release from Justin Mitchell. Watch how quick he gets rid of this baseball. There's the pitch that drifts back inside and strong throw to second base. He throws a strike just a nip in time to get Cranford from first base on the steal attempt. You know, if Cranford, his lead foot might have been down all the way and he might have snuck in underneath the tag, but that foot was in the air and that allowed for the call out. Yeah, no doubt. I think a head first slot he's safe as well. Caught stealing 2-6, gets the second out. Mathis swings and misses for strike three. So just like that, out of trouble is Dane Acker and the Oklahoma Sooners. We're through three at Minute Maid Park. And with a runner aboard, nobody out here, bottom of the fourth inning. Hits this one deep to left center field, tracking over the center fielder, Treadway, and he's got it before he goes into the bullpen screen. And scampering back to first base in a hurry is Malazzo. Wow. Cabrera gave that one a ride. But Treadaway able to track it down yeah. up against the wall. That was a uh, missile shot. Watch the catch by Treadaway. And again, negotiating the nuances of Minute Maid Park, having to go deep into that left center field bullpen area to track it down. And just an incredible job by Treadaway. Went a long way to get it. And got to the track, felt for the fence. Beautiful. No doubt. Definitely a threat to run. Slap bug up the middle, but right to the shifted shortstop, Zaragoza steps on the bag for one and over to first to end the inning with a six unassisted three double play. Still scoreless here at Minute Maid Park. On Sunday. Fastball hard on the outside edge. Got Doty to chase. Strikeout number six. Well, Dane Acker sets that pitch up well. He goes in, in. Now fastball away. Down and away, and Doty actually chases it out of the strike zone. Yep. Got a piece of that one. It gets away. And scampering down to second will be Garza. The Giacomo is out because you cannot advance to first base if the base is occupied with less than two outs. That's it. Yeah, that's exactly right. At second, two outs, 0 2 pitch to CJ Willis. Swung on and missed. So after hitting the leadoff band, three straight strikeouts for Dane Acker. And we remain scoreless through five here at the column. As we were talking with a guest the last inning. Slapped down to the first baseman. Trapped. Wow. By Hardman. But he'll jog to the bag for the out. One away. Well, call your crew. California. Pops this one up on the left side of the infield. The shortstop Zaragoza will flag it down for out number two. So pretty easy here. It has. LSU fans looking for some reason to cheer. 3-2 pitch to Malazzo. Hit straight up in the air. Back into shallow center field. Treadaway comes in. And he'll make the grab. Four out number three. Three up and three down once again for Dane Acker here in the sixth. No score between the Sooners and the Tigers. With Cabrera, Beloso, and Garza coming to the dish. Cabrera bounces this one on a high hop to second base. Kohler in for it. Throw over to first in time. To get the speedy Cabrera for out number one. 
I mean, that's what you'd think, right? On paper, you have three, four, five hitters come close at Minute Maid. Balls were flying out of here yesterday. Bounce on the ground, a couple of hops, and once again, Kohler will field and on to first. Two up and two down, both 4-3 on your scorecard. And quickly, we have two outs here in the bottom half of the seventh inning as Garza comes to the plate. So Saul Garza jumps on the first pitch. Two hopper to shortstop Zaragoza. Low throw, oh, but the swipe tag on the way by by Hardman will end the inning. Three up and three down. We are through seven in a tight pitches duel here at Minute Maid Park. It's the mound with the lead, and that is Dane Acker up one to nothing here. First pitch offering hit in the air by Cade Doty. Drifting out into shallow center field is Kohler to make the catch for out number one. Well, now what you start to see last one out here in the bottom of the eighth inning in a one nothing game. Swung on wow. and missed strike three. That's number 10 Man. for Dane Acker. What a changeup. Pulled the string on DiGiacomo and it's his 10th strikeout. Watch this. Oh, man. Well placed. Just out in front. Now the number eight hitter, C.J. Willis, who was a late addition to the starting lineup. He is 0 for 2 with, if Bianco can get aboard. Line drive right at the shortstop. Zaragoza flags it down. Eighth inning in the books for Dane Acker and the Oklahoma Sooners will take a 1-0 lead to the ninth here at Minute Maid Park. Once again, the 3-2. Inside corner called, strike three. Number 11 for Dane Acker. Just paints the glove of Justin Mitchell. Watch Mitchell set up right down the middle. That fastball oh, yeah. center cut. That is there, baby. No doubt about it. Now Zach Mathis will step in. How about that? Coming back from 2-0 to get the field wall. 3-1 pitch to Zach Mathis. Hit in the air to right center field. Tracking over is Treadaway. He's calling. Makes the catch on the edge of the track for out number two. Wow. 3-1 count. Mathis gets a pitch to hit. Just under it. Yeah. Fastball down the middle. I mean. To Alex Malazzo. Two outs. The bottom of the ninth. Hit on the ground to short. Zaragoza across. Oh, no hitter. He did it. No hitter for Dane Acker. And Oklahoma beats LSU by a score of one to nothing. My goodness. <laughs> Well, there's no doubt Dane Acker will never forget this game. <laughs> and look at his teammates coming out to mob him. How about that? Of all things today, Tom, I did not think we were giving the ball no. to witness a no-hitter. We almost saw two of them, two of them <laughs> in the same game. Unbelievable. Holy smokes. What a and game. I'll, and I'll give you something, Mr. Pat Combs. This is the first time in person, start to finish, I have seen a no-hit game. Man, welcome to the club. First time ever. <laughs> welcome to the club. I mean, I was working the post-game show for Mike Scott's no-hitter in 1986 against the Giants, so I had to leave after the sixth inning and go back to the oh, station. Man. So I didn't see that one start to finish. Man, oh, man. Let's well, take a look at the last batter. A gutsy performance by that man right there, Dane Acker. Fastball in. Malazzo squares it up. He got good wood on it. One good. hopper backhanded by Zaragoza who made the true throw. Nice backhand stop and Zaragoza sets his feet well, throws across the diamond and that completes the no-hitter for Acker. You're not going to find a better baseball game played this year start to finish anywhere. Man. Anywhere. Wow. That was tremendous. Great defense. Tip of the cap to all of these players on both of these teams. You see them lining up and exchanging high fives and fist bumps along the way but again you see the Oklahoma teammates mobbing